Elon Musk, I'll put a man on Mars in 10 years. Well, Georgia? You really think Georgia is a country? It is. Georgia is a country in Europe. Say psych right now. Well, hey, I think you're just kind of blowing their mind. We used to lord that over the other kids, lol. Word is, uh, laud? Loud. GPT-3 bot? Is that supposed to be something else? Am I dumb? Can I give you a test to gauge your intelligence? Of course, what do you want to know? If there are 20 apples and you need to divide it to 10 people, how many apples will each person get? Each person would get three apples. How come it's three apples? It's the same as 10 divided by two because 10 divided by two equals five and five multiplied by three equals 12. But that doesn't, wait, and five multiplied by three equals 12? But that doesn't explain how you arrived at three apples. Well, it's just like this. If there are people in a room and you want to give each person an apple, then you would need to take the total number of apples, n plus one, and divide it by two. What makes something an apple? Oh, so you don't even know what an apple is, huh, bot? Could they survive jumping into a volcano? I think not. Chessmate. Checkmate. Chessmate. Checkmate. I kind of like chessmate. You seem happy and put together mentally, so yeah, you're definitely a women. Wait, so men can't be happy and put together? That I've seen? No. I'm so sorry for you. Yes, but I would say the average American doesn't have an accent. Only an American would think they don't have an accent. Oh no, I definitely have an accent. It's just where I'm from in the country, up in eastern Washington state, I do believe that I somehow ended up with the most generic American accent, if you will. The most vanilla. Everything feels or sounds, at least to me, to be very flat for an American accent. There's no real isms or twang or anything like that. The only thing I've picked up is since moving to Colorado in 2014, I don't say Colorado anymore. I say Colorado a lot. I say I that, that freaking Coloradan accent really gets me sometimes. What are you, a printer? Call it blue like a normal person. I don't know how to tell you this, but cyan and the standard color palette, blue, are wildly different colors. You'd never mistake one for the other. Wanna bet? If you're one of these off-white folks, Wait, wait, let me read that again. Wanna bet you are one of these off-white folks. If you tell me there are more than eight colors, I'm gonna tell you no. What? The Russian sleep experiment is not a creepypasta, it's a real thing. You're all just brainwashed. There's so much you don't know. But it's okay, when the revelation comes, you won't be needed. Whatever you say, dude. But what if I pay you? If you pay me, then you get rights or permission. But I can't just make a movie about blank without having to pay someone to do that. So how is this possible? LOL, oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were here on planet Earth. What planet are you on? Uh, yes, you can. They made the Bohemian Rhapsody movie and the band Queen never saw a single penny. What? Excuse me? It's been a year since the last time I announced this, so I think it's time for my yearly update. PSA, we do not pee out of our vagina. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. See you next year. Well, you probably don't do it out of your asses, although you do talk a lot out of there. LOL. And that leaves the vagina, unless there's a third hole somewhere for the pee to come out of. You're getting there, buddy. You're getting there. Morning. Where did you move to Portland from? I'm also newish. Were. Where did you move to Portland from? I'm also newish. Before the Civil War? Republicans did not exist before the Civil War. Lincoln was the first Republican. Read a history book. Gas prices see fastest decline in over a decade. What does that have to f do with what he said? What? The FBI is a oh. Look, I know why you're saying it. I feel like in general, we could consider the FB FBI to probably be a bit of an ass. CIA is a bit of an ass. NSA is definitely an asshole, but the reason you think it is, I don't agree. This cake makes me angry. It's not a lava cake, it's a bunt cake with chocolate sauce in the middle. Lava cake cores should be hot, but uncooked batter from under baking the cake, and the cake should be made for each individual. Slicing a syrup-filled bunt cake is just a disappointing mess. Stop posting this travesty. Pedant? Pedant here? Please don't underbake a cake expecting a molten gooey center. You'll just be disappointed. Lava cakes have a puck of frozen ganache in the center. As they bake, the ganache melts, and they have to be small so that the cake can cook, therefore the ganache cooks as well. LOL, yeah, for someone getting so upset about it, they also misunderstood the assignment. I've seen enough whatever to know it's frozen ganache. That is a very fun word to say. Wouldn't you agree? Also, I know what a lava cake is. I've seen the movie Chef. Over a 100-year-old quote, everything that can be invented 
has been invented by the U.S. Office of Patents Commissioner Charles H. Duell in 1899. You sure about that, Charles? Let's catch up with Charles now and see what he has to say, huh? Scientists studying Mount Everest, the tallest mountain in the world, have found fossils of fish embedded in the rock at the mountain's peak, tens of thousands of feet above sea level. Researchers believe water has reached these heights in the past, hinting that the Earth was once flooded. Okay, Mr. TikTok, you got a source? No, seriously, where's your source? Stop believing stuff without a source, and I don't mean Google is your friend or Google it or do your own research. That's not on me. The burden of proof is on the dingleberry that made the claim, so you make the claim you give the evidence. I swear to God, if your evidence is also just another person saying random stuff with no sources, no, that's not a source, I'm gonna come over there and whoop yo ass. Can you not read? I can. And I know that when you're asking something, you have to put a question mark at the end of the sentence. They were clearly saying it rhetorically, which wouldn't require a question mark. Rhetor- You sure, OP? That does not seem right. Rhetorically? I don't know. No one told me I could retire and live off of $200,000 cash. <laughs> Rich is when you take $200,000 cash and buy a Lamborghini. Wealthy is when you take $200,000 cash and buy an asset that pays you 10 k a month. You can then finance the Lamborghini at 0% interest, and your monthly payment will be just under $3,400 for five years. Take the 10 k in cash. <sighs> in cash flow from your asset you purchased. The first 3400 is for your Lamborghini payment, and now you have 6600 left over each month to do whatever you want with. After five years, your Lamborghini is paid off and you still have that asset producing 10 k a month. Rich is temporary. Wealthy is generational. If you don't come from a wealthy family, don't worry. A wealthy family can come from you. $200,000 sure is a life-changing amount, but what asset? What asset? are you thinking of could possibly, for sure, as per this whole blurb of bullshit, guaranteed, for certain, make me $10,000 a month for seemingly the rest of my life, or at least six years, because, you know, we've already paid off that Lamborghini, right? What asset? If you say landlord, I'm gonna kick your ass. How many wrongs makes a right? Do four rights make a left? Three. Uh, wait. Ryerson or George Brown grad? TMU grad? What's the difference? You- you don't think it's three? It's the R, not the S. This dumbass put the S backwards in the wrong place with putting the Ross logo. Um... Uh, sir? Save with two at once. Hey, would you look at that? I'm saving so much money, dude. That's insane. Oh, I hate that crap so much. Why does deodorant have to be so expensive? It doesn't even frickin' work. But I, I still use it. I still use it. I'm, I'm not saying that I don't believe in deodorant. Don't start coming to my Twitter calling me stinky. Say you don't know baseball without saying you don't know baseball. Minnesota Twins got away with a win tonight over the Toronto Blue Jays in which betters and handicappers alike should be infuriated. The cave at bat was called a strike, effectively ending his at bat in which would had been an out. Cave swung his bat, which was strike three as noted even by the announcers. How was he awarded first base? The ball came off the catcher's protective equipment and went foul. Furthermore, the runner on third's hand never touched home plate. Okay, I don't know how to tell you that I don't understand baseball that much, but nothing that he said really made any sense to me. D uh, to be fair, I don't know a damn thing about baseball. Then you talk sh** and won't back it up. So let's do who losses next time. I know damn well it isn't me. Loses. Can't even correct me right. You spelled it wrong, idiot. Search it up, then come back. He never came back, did he? This guy said dogs don't use sight to recognize things on a video of a dog with a VR headset. Dogs can't recognize a tree or bird just by giving him a video. The nose is their primary sense. Of course they can. I'm living next to a wheat field and my dog recognizes other dogs kilometers away. I don't know why so many other people liked your comment. Maybe it's because you said it confidentially? But if a dog has seen birds before, it can see the birds. Holy sh**, it makes Senki now. It's spelled sneeze, not Senki. Not quite, but you're on the way. I love them both. Sweat makes you slippery to predators. No, sir. That's KY jelly. That's the only reason it's made, right? Social anxiety facts. No one's thinking about you as much as you think they are. The more nervous you feel, the more important this situation is to your soul. It's all an energy game. Social anxiety is completely normal. 
You sweat because your body is trying to make you more slippery to predators. I'm helping you turn anxiety into confidence, so hit that with a follow... Hit that with a follow button. Hit that follow button. I don't know. I've got this sneaky suspicion that sweating is actually to assist your body in cooling down, but what the f*** do I know? I only paid attention in human biology. You can't just go looking for evidence until you've proven beyond a shadow of a doubt that the person is guilty. You need a rock-solid appeal-proof conviction, and then you can go looking for evidence. What? The language just happened to die after England invaded. Nothing to do with the English, of course. I'm sorry, my brain stopped loading for a moment. Mate, I've been all over Cornwall. I'm, I'm not gonna do it, I'm just f***ing with you. I've been all over Cornwall, and nobody there speaks Cornish. This is an undeniable fact. The Cornish language declined because of the Cornish themselves, not because of the Cornish being oppressed by the English. What are you talking about? So usually he's very standoffish with all his girlfriend's friends. He's very what? Standoffish? Like being formal? How you are in an office? Standoffish. It has nothing to do with offices. Uh, the only reason I learned anything about that damn word was because of a series of unfortunate events. I need to give that whole sucker another read. I watched that Netflix series again, but I gotta read those books. How are people like this even able to start a business? Hi everyone, we need to talk. This situation we ha- eat on the 20th, where Blank needs to leave early, has me thinking about things after seeing the lack of willingness to help from all of you. In many situations, Blank has gone out of its way to make a comfortable work environment for you. Some of you can't work weekends, some of you can't find babysitters, and some of you only work one day a week. But all of you have been accommodating, or accommodated, to make the above schedule possible. This business feeds my family. This business is not there to pay your bills, it's here to pay mine. The fact that any of you passed this small problem to me is absolutely ridiculous and you should feel ashamed. I'm sorry, I gotta... I have to take just a quick second here to truly allow that phrase to marinate in my mind the sheer whether or not this is a troll i mean i don't want people to try and invalidate things that i say by going bruh it was just a troll sure hide behind that all you want but that has to be one of the saddest f things i have ever heard it's here to pay my bills not yours okay cool well i need to go find a job that's there to pay my bills because yours mean freaking nothing to me. I'm sorry. Have a great life. I hope that whoever else you hire quits as inconveniently for you as possible. Goodbye. How much you wanna bet this tries his best not to pay anybody literally anything. Woo wee, and benefits? Forget about that. Flat Earth are claiming Earth is stationary, and the amazing evidence is because balance exists? 1600 kilometers an hour. Earth is stationary. Damn. I want to I want to go back to school and just get a a, a degree in general some some kind of general studies degree. Just uh here you go. You got a high school diploma, but let's refresh and delve into some of these subjects a little more deeply because I don't ever ever want to end up like this because it's been too long since high school and that information has faded. There's got to be something out there. Is there a dude on YouTube that just goes through high school level courses again and again? I keep those on in the background while I study my memes or write my scripts. Matter changes state based on temperature. Water boils at 212 degrees Fahrenheit. Spill water on the floor, leave for a few hours, water gone. Temp never went to 212. You guys seriously don't believe this shit, right? Leave for a few hours and the water is gone? Uh, uh, we, uh, 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 it's 4chan though, you gotta take that with a grain of salt, and by a grain of salt I mean shove a Himalayan salt lamp up your ass. 99 year old man divorces his 96 year old after 77 years of marriage after he found out she cheated on him. I guess cheating doesn't have a statute of limitations. Statue of limitations. Mm, no, I wrote it correctly. Ah uh, yes, that's all you do when you own a store. I agree. I couldn't just let something like that happen to me, especially where the owner said he worked hard for it. Yeah, it must be hard working standing behind a counter taking people's money. It's like working in a coal mine. Someone, someone has never worked a counter or a normal job in their life where you're scared because at any moment that simple taking money job can turn into verbal or sometimes physical abuse from a person you're not allowed to defend yourself from. 
I can tell you stories about my time simply working for, well, I mean, I've worked for Walmart, I've worked for Target, for Comcast, for all kinds of companies, and not a single one did I ever feel truly safe. The anxiety was through the roof all the time, my dip little friend. It is hard work. Taking money behind a counter is work that we as a society have agreed is necessary. We need you to do it. Yes, self-checkouts are one thing, but how many times have you found yourself checking out and then you have to wait for someone to come help you because you're buying beer or the machine's a piece of shit? Think about it. Fuck you if you look down on people that do the job that you know damn well you need. I'm sorry, I get a little over the top sometimes about that, but I just hate arrogant people looking down on hard work because it's not hard work that they think is hard work. Dove? Past tense of dive, lad. Oh, dove, okay. Nah, mate, it's dived. Dove is a bird. Both are acceptable words to use for past tense of dive, though dove in this sense is said with a hard O, like in stove. Yeah, I remember being taught in like elementary school about uh, the silent E. Does anybody remember that? Was I on crack in kindergarten or first grade, whatever it was? You know, putting the E on the end of the word changes the pronunciation of the O from AW to O to, or UH in this case, I guess, with dove. I don't know. A lot of those English rules we were taught here in America are bullshit. You know, kind of like that rule I before E except after C, except for, I don't know, every goddamn word that has an I and E and a C in it, I swear to God. Am I the asshole for suggesting to my girlfriend she could work out of the gym to get a bigger chest? My girlfriend has pretty small breasts, which I don't really mind that much, but she recently asked me what type of them I like, and since I was trying to be honest, I told her usually big ones, like D cup or more. She seemed a bit sad about it and then asked me if I still liked her, and I said, of course, I told her her were fine too. She said it's not like she could do anything to get bigger ones anyway except for surgery and asked me if I wanted that. I told her if she wanted surgery I'd support her but she didn't have to get it for me. Also I said she could just go to the gym and do more bench presses and such and she would get bigger ones that way. She then said she had never heard about that and claimed that it wasn't true. I said plenty of guys who did it had big ones like Arnold so she could do it as well. I think she just doesn't want to put the work in. Oh my god, I... Oh my god, I'm so tired. Personal experience. Yeah, sure, buddy. Could you please explain the difference between different types of tampons? I'm genuinely curious. It's based on to size mainly. I really hope you're joking because you could not be more wrong. From my personal experience, it's based on to size. Hey, yo, girl, what size do you wear? Girls with tight ones have smaller tampons, while girls with wide ass vaginas, I find, stuffed the biggest they could find. Knew a girl who stuffed two at a time. But it wasn't from yo buddy. I ordered 60 or so sushi rolls because I thought they were in sale, but it turned out to be something else that as on sale. But anyways, I was also with my kids, so we were all eating sushi, and they gave me the bill, and I saw it was over $100, which I didn't have. And since me and my kids hadn't eaten 30 or so of the sushi rolls, I told the waitress I'd give back the sushi for a refund of all of the sushi we didn't eat. She refused. It should be every restaurant's policy that the customer's always right. Always. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I'm gonna derail this video one more time, just because we need to stop this customer is always right bullshit. We're missing part of the phrase here, okay? It's not simply, the customer is always right. The full phrase is, the customer is always right in matters of taste. I actually have no proof of that, by the way. I'm pretty sure I saw it on a Reddit comment once, but I think that's the phrase we should all be following anyway. Look, it's an extortionate fucking motto to be using regardless. No, we should not blindly follow what the customer wants and says every single time. Managers, protect your goddamn employees. You know, the ones that are getting the job done and hiding you as much as possible from your own set of verbal and physical abuse. We gotta protect each other, man. There are some bitch ass mofos out there. It was Greek. LOL. Imagine talking Hindo. I really hope you get typhus. I really do. What? Green is a secondary color. Yellow is the primary. Computer color theory isn't the same as actual color theory. What does that mean? They want it for attention in their unrated games. They are. It's there, actually. Pretty sure it's there. <laughs> 
No, it's most definitely toxic. CO2 emissions area, natural toxic gas. Well, I must have screwed up somewhere along my medical degree. I didn't know CO2 had toxic properties. I thought it was a simple inert byproduct of normal aerobic respiration, which at a high rate, con at high concentrations, leads to an increased respiratory rate. Tachycardia, cardiac arrhythmia is an impaired conscious. Someone Googled a lot, if not displaced from hemoglobin. But as far as it being a toxin, it's like calling water a toxin. Sure, depends on your definition of toxin. You've got a medical degree. You sure it's not a chiropractor certificate? Flat Earther explains why satellites can't move in space. Do you really think we have a satellite taking high-res photos of Pluto 3 billion miles away and we can get a cell signal if we venture too far outside of the city? Oh, you meant can't. And if we had a satellite out in deep space, it wouldn't be able to move. In a vacuum, even thrust doesn't have any medium to push off of. Think about a rocket launch. It pushes off of the ground, the the air. A fighter jet on an aircraft carrier has the carrier carrier lift it blast barrier up to... Oh, Jesus. I'm sorry, it's just exhausting dealing with these people. And I'm not even dealing with them. If a few treatments eliminate your infection, you're apparently not cured. They won't even cure athletes' foot. There's no money in the cure, only in treatment. Private industry has never cured anything because they're not looking for a cure, they're looking for a treatment. Look, there was a day when I'd be inclined to believe you, man, but I can't believe that anymore, dude. Article author thinks the sun is the only source of heat in the universe. The part about the article is about Megatron having a weakness to cold weather. Megatron's fictional home planet, Cybertron, is at least four light years away from Earth. This means it's farther away from the sun, hence it's colder. For that reason, Megatron should be used to cold temperatures by now, and since he is generally overpowered, chilly winds shouldn't be a problem for him. Holy crap. Bro, get a life. You're 23. You're... No, you're... You're... Trust me, I'm an English major. Switch majors. Made this tonight. It's so good. Wow, I love your recipes. You are recipes. LOL. Fixing my typo. Inspecting the battlefield. Not very well, though. Red thinking that wild animals belong in zoos. That wolf. Filthy rodent probably wasn't even hungry, just looking to kill something out of boredom. Wolves belong in zoos and animal sanctuaries, not the wild. Destructive as hell and completely upset the ecosystem. No, that's not true. But you know what does disrupt the ecosystem? House cats. Yeah, they really mess stuff the fuck up. So look, keep them inside. You know what I'm saying? Munchkin has to stay inside. It's for the betterment of the population of a lot of creatures. You know, like birds? Have you ever noticed how there's less chirping these days? Sure, we're paying $2.40 a liter in Australia. What the f*** is a litre? Buddy, grab your passport and go see the world. You'll find out that there are liter meter Celsius. Liter is what I believe is meant, but I've been wrong before. As far as spelling, when you win the war that began in 1776 versus the crown, you can do what you want with the language. It's called war booty? Liter is not recognized. The English language is owned by the United States. Okay, sure, you go on believing that. You... Wow. Wow. PSA, the moon's bullshit. America can, should, must, and will blow up the moon. All right, why? Let's take a look. Do we need tides? Dumb. Honestly, kind of not that cool. Unnecessary. Actual lunatic. Literally never done anything for us. Not society. Society. Yeah, I agree. Screw the moon, dude. How many cubits was Noah's cloning facility on the Ark? Why assume that Noah took live animals instead of simply gathering their embryos and sperm? Let's humble ourselves and acknowledge that people in the past were potentially as advanced or even more so than we are today. Right, yeah, the whole, the whole cloning thing. Plus, I don't think that Noah was given enough time to build this boat. Not necessarily completely by himself. I feel like his family helped him in some way. Either way, build this boat and simultaneously extract eggs from all the female or females in every species and then uh, jerk off all the males of the species and store all of that safely. The story is significantly more believable if he just grabs a couple of animals from every species, right? I mean, it sounds weird, but it's true. Not the story, I mean more believable. You know what I mean.